Okay, I'm Kevin. I'm here with Wayne. Wayne, tell them about what you're doing there. What are you doing in that bag? I'm going to be playing with some cool hardware. Well, not really playing, but you know, when we did this, what, how many years ago was that? I don't know, a long time ago. War driving, mm -hmm. we was doing war driving. Yeah. We was finding a web. We found web all over the place. Which yeah, we, we never thought WPA. you could find. And yeah. But that was a long time ago. A long time ago. We were using a laptop. Yeah, we had a, a big phone. old laptop and a big old alpha card and, and all uh, kinds of stuff. Got a couple more gray hairs and yeah. uh, showing you some more skills. This time we're going to be showing you some uh, new skills with new tools and very importantly a lot more smaller form factor hardware so we're going to be doing some rf driving this time not just making it you know wi-fi centric right, but let's so go and look at uh, what else is uh, you know, propagating and broadcasting not just going to be 2011 then it's going to be actually other type of stuff and rf and we'll look at all kinds of cool stuff huh this is just a really cool device that's going to allow us to do RF specifically for home automation, so alarm systems, motor exactly. vehicle, cars, right. and um, it's got a decent Android application. Plug it into it, and you're going to use the application so of that device. We're going to be plugging it's got into a little picture again. of a panda on it, so I think you like Panda Express. So, yeah. so this is a great device that uh, we'll be giving you details on. It's a you know, RF device that allows you to do IoT testing. So IoT Pandua, testing, that's the key, right? That's where it's at. Everybody doesn't understand all these IoT devices, they uh, have frequencies too. Yep. So it's more RF, more radio frequencies, yep. more stuff you got to protect. And the Mirai botnet proved that most people don't protect anything. So default passwords, all that type of stuff, it's all got to be changed, just like in the days and of the so wireless. There we have some power going. Yeah, and now it's got its lights lighting up. We good. Coming up on your app. Right now with this device, there's a lot of other more advanced capabilities that we have and we've got the ability to actually jam signals which you've got to be very careful because there are multiple versions of the device available. So there's actually a government law enforcement version. And it's based on legal jurisdiction, right? Different legal jurisdictions have different rules to jamming. Exactly. In the United States, for instance, you can't even turn that thing out. You can't turn a jammer on yeah. unless you're an actually sworn agent. You have to be a badge carrying agent to be able to turn them on. Absolutely. But how many people out there turn them on and don't really understand that? And uh, yeah, yeah, they're they go along the to the button and they say, oh, well, this is very easy. That's how easy it is to jam. It's just a button, right? So there you can see, well, we're not doing anything though, but we can go along and specifically set our frequency range. And what, and this is not really truly jamming though. It's going to more like use a lot of the bandwidth though. So. Um, there are settings that you can choose to do it in a legitimate way. But we can also then go over to the protocols. So we can start specifically looking at different protocols from different devices, like home alarm systems. Then we've got the ability to go along and use a spectrum analyzer. So again, the spectrum analyzer, you can see how, look at that comp, yeah. Yeah, you got spectrum analysis, you got all the information coming yeah. in. Yep. And the auto frequency finder, the question you were asking earlier yep. on. So we could go along and say, hey, we want to find devices in a specific frequency range. So and literally then like we're going to sweep on that range. Oh, so okay. we're going to go ahead and after we've set up the variables that we want, yep. we're going to just be targeting 433 to 434 megahertz. A lot of people's remote controls are going to be right. using that frequency. Right. So let's start our spectrum analyzer. This time we can see not much communication in that range. Now if we change that and look at the 500, change the frequency. And again, we're just analyzing the air. That's what people always forget, but it's just air. Yeah. Just well, waves actually, of the air, electromagnetic waves. Let's go and waves. look at a 915 megahertz. Yeah, that's what a good do we idea. see on 915 megahertz all the time there, Chief? Uh, I think uh, that's uh, something to do with drones there. Wayne. Yeah, drones and baby monitors uh, and maybe telemetry. Telemetry and so from I, the drones we, we had a hotel. Like I wonder if anybody's got some baby monitors here. I don't know. Let's go and check let's it out. out. Wow, we peak. can see. Look at that peak right yeah, there, right? Peak. So that was like wow. a quick lucky guess. We can see this stuff communicating yep. right on that frequency. So that's, again, you know, looking at using a device that's going to let us know, first of all, if there's communications on a specific channel. So beyond the good old war driving, we're now yeah. going to go out there and still show that we can do war driving, but we're going to be doing it from a mobile phone. Yep. So uh, Different this form was factor. another it's form just factor another again. As everybody another forgets. Computer. It's just we don't have the big laptop no more like the first video. Yeah. Now we have, we can do it, remember the little device, all from the palm of our hand. Absolutely. Yep. So kind of how we do it.
it was you know an eye opener when we realized how much technology has changed since we did wall drive since and we laptops. Did the last one, yeah. Everything's gone IoT, small modules, got small and, modular components. Yeah. Uh, Kind of like Lego blocks. Yeah, yeah, like Lego blocks. Yeah. So it's kind of like put just the, the Legos together now with all these small little devices and give you enhanced capabilities to do all these different wide range of hacking. Before we just had the wireless 802.11, the basic type stuff, and this time we've covered a variety of different things. And once again, taking like those Lego blocks, popping them off, and putting them back on, and yeah. it's amazing. Yeah. It's amazing what you can do. Yeah. Well, that's because it's, everything's IoT now. So you yeah. know, add a breadboard to that, and of course we'll be going through some other series of demonstrations. Yeah, but um, ones coming up in the future. Yeah, yeah this was just a retake of uh, war driving that we did a couple of years ago, showing ago. Uh, now showing war driving, not just targeting Wi-Fi. So, the change of technology. Yeah, we're the change of technology. Exactly, showing how uh, evolution's yeah. taking place, and we're using micro-sized uh, computers now yeah. to do the same thing we were doing yeah. ten years ago. Yeah, absolutely. Well, I think it's time to wrap it up. I'm Kevin. I'm Wayne, and thanks for watching, folks. We'll see you in another video soon.